I've just tried to film this introduction about five times and it hasn't worked. <laughs> Welcome to Extremely Cosmic. Welcome to my room from a different angle that you're not used to. I'm currently sat on my bed right now because it's just comfortable and I've been here literally all day long. Welcome to week four of doing these vlogs. It feels like I've been doing these vlogs for an eternity. It's literally been like more than four weeks that I've been in like isolation, like the UK has been on like lockdown. It feels like it's probably about two or three weeks as well as these four weeks I've been vlogging. Also, I don't know if I, I explained this before, but when I'm putting the days at the bottom of here, it's not very accurate at all that's just like the days consecutively when really in reality i'm missing out days and all kinds of things and sometimes i'm putting days in different orders and stuff so like just ignore the day thing that's just for structure because i'm all about structure what i've been doing all day is mainly working on my book because i said that this is one of the like resolutions that i want to work on whilst i was in this isolation period and i can't do anything i can't go anywhere so i'm like well i might as well work on something i've been wanting to work on my book that i'm currently writing i started writing it in the late 2017 I think right now and it was literally like one of the most spontaneous things I've ever started writing in my life I do want to I just keep saying it I want to make a video about it I want to talk about my book with you guys I want to actually tell you guys what it's about what kind of things is going on but I'm currently at like 29,000 words I think and I've got a lot more chapters planned out because that's what I keep doing I keep planning stuff out going forward with the rest of the week it looks the same outlook as today literally I have no plan plans for it except from write more of this, play more of that, read more of that. I am working on other stuff though. I've been watching a lot of YouTube lately. I've been watching a lot of Joe Exotic videos because I stand him with my whole heart. Like literally come for me if you want to come for me uh, in my madness. Quarantine's done this to me. Just saying. I will see you guys hopefully tomorrow, maybe the next day, maybe the day after that. But I hope that you're enjoying these vlogs because I sure as heck am not enjoying editing them. Bye for now. Welcome to day two, week four. It has been not very exciting. I just kind of did the same things as I did yesterday. Like I just sat around, I wrote some of my book stuff, I edited some videos, and I also played some Animal Crossing, which seems to be my little agenda for every single day during this isolation period. You guys might remember that in last week's vlog, I told you guys I was expecting some parcels to come. And you also saw that I opened the shirt that I bought online, like the Safari print shirt and also my Joe Exotic t-shirt came but I also ordered this necklace from ASOS, ASOS, I don't know what it's called. It's this big chain necklace with a giant safety pin on it. Safety pins are like part of my aesthetic just because I kind of like borrow from different like styles of fashion like punk's a very big influence on my fashion but so is like goth fashion um also like a bunch of other weird things. If you've met me in real life you might have met me wearing this jacket. The vintage western jacket that I bought at a vintage fair like around three or four years ago now and I basically customized it with a bunch of like pins and chains and there's safety pins all over the place i've got safety pins on the collar loads of safety pins elsewhere on the jacket there used to be a patch here but then i ripped it off so i'm just struggling with the aftermath of the patch so i'm very excited to wear the safety pin chain necklace with that jacket just when everything's all over and I can actually wear real clothes again. I also found my fringe jacket the other day and I'm really excited about it because I've never actually worn this out of the house before. So I thought it was a little bit weird, a little bit cliche, a little bit like, oh, who wears Western stuff? Actually, I wear Western stuff because I have a, like a full on pair of cowboy boots I bought just a couple of months ago. I've only worn them outside like a few times because everything happened, but like I absolutely adore them. And imagine the power if I wore this jacket with the cowboy boots. I think that kind of like cowboy Western aesthetic needs to blend in with the off in the punk and we need to create something really ugly that is called my aesthetic. I don't know your name. Well, I can't say it. How about a game of charades? Yes, let's play it. Two words. Right. Second word. Uh -huh. Drink. No. Beverage. No. Wine. No. Juice. Yes. Okay, first word. Okay. Bug. No. Ant. Close but no. Beetle. Yes. Beetle juice. Wow, I'm impressed. <laughs> Hey everyone, this is me wearing the same t-shirt as yesterday and vlogging again. This has been very much like yesterday. I basically just sat over here on my bed. Finally just uploaded last week's vlog that I was meant to put up on Monday and suddenly it's Wednesday. Hi guys, welcome to day four on week four of this. I've just nearly said vlogmas. Oh my God. It is incredibly hot right now. I'm sat in the car outside Morrison's because my dad's going to get some flour or at least he's trying to get some flour because literally flour is just sold out everywhere. I don't understand. Like maybe the world's just gone crazy for bake 
taken or something. We just went on a drive and it was really fun. Um, it's actually really good to get out of the house every so often and just kind of drive around and kind of see places that you used to go and you're like, oh my god, like that's empty now. I was just thinking about this whole isolation thing yesterday and I was thinking about like how much I'm actually enjoying it. I know that it's horrible. I know that the whole world is like undergoing this terrible, terrible thing. It should not be happening. I honestly hate it myself. I really wish that it wasn't happening and I feel really bad for anyone who's like really affected for anyone who's like losing people because of it for anyone who's you know going out and having to work during it my mom is actually going out and during like working during it and I feel bad for anyone who's having economical problems and financial issues but I am personally quite enjoying this time I enjoy my own company and I enjoy being by myself and this is like a dream for me just sitting at home enjoying myself doing art doing writing finally getting to write my book um just editing videos just sitting there playing Animal Crossing it's just like I know it's a bit lazy but I'm having the time in my life it's so much fun just sitting around not having to worry about uni work or anything like that but then again I am sorry for anyone I do miss my friends a lot I miss going out a lot and I miss everything about that so I really wish that we could go out soon I really wish that it would wasn't like this because I'd like to go shopping right now but they're only allowing one person at once so I can't go shopping right now you know what I mean <laughs> the list of bad decisions I've made I don't know if this counts as number one I wake up, I go to work, but every day I get someone trying to slam